Hello and welcome to the channel. Let's talk a little bit about seats today. Right now, I've got the seat that came with the Peloton on it. And you know, for a lot of people, that's gonna be a fine seat. And I know you probably came to this uh, video to see what my favorite seat is, and I'm gonna show you that in just a bit. But before you go out and spend your hard earned money on that, uh, I wanna make sure you're giving the seat a good try. Especially if you're new to cycling or new to Peloton, uh, it's important that you give the seat maybe four to 10 rides uh, before you make a judgment on it, a lot of times you just have to condition your seat. Uh, and when you get a little conditioning there, that's going to make it uh, a lot better. So I would make those rides be at least the 20 minute rides. Uh, if you can do 30, even better. Space them out a couple days. Uh, and that can toughen that area up quite a bit. The other thing that's going to be cheaper for you than buying a new seat is to buy a pair of cycling shorts or pants. If you don't already have those, the kind that have the, the pad or as we call them, the chamois in it, uh, that's gonna make that seat a lot more comfortable too. Uh, you're gonna want that if you get into cycling much more anyway, a lot of you, especially if you're doing those longer rides. You know, if you're doing a 30 minute, maybe even an hour ride, uh, you can get away without it. But uh, for those longer rides, it's definitely much more comfortable. Uh, the other thing I would tell you is to make sure that you're doing that video, uh, that you do the video setup uh, procedure that they show you on the Peloton website. That's actually a pretty good, video and uh, it'll walk you through all the different adjustments. If you don't have that adjusted correctly, uh, the best seat in the world is not going to be comfortable. A couple things to note on that is, is uh, if you have the seat too low, uh, it can cause you to get some pain sort of at the top of the kneecap. Uh, and if it, it just about the opposite of that, if you have the seat too high, it can cause you actually to hyperextend your knee and to get pain back here. So if you're getting pain in one of those areas, it could be a height adjustment. Uh, most of the time though, if you're wanting a more comfortable seat, that's not gonna be the issue. Uh, you're actually wanting comfort on the seat itself. Uh, the reason I don't have the seat that I'm gonna talk to you about today on the bike is it's actually so comfortable. I took it off the bike and rode it to Ragbri and rode it across the state of Iowa from the west to the east, 400 something odd miles. And the seat was wonderful. So let's go out and look at the seat. I've got it in the garage. All right, here's my road bike setup. Just in case you were curious, it's a Cervelo S5. I just rode that across Iowa in Ragbri and it performed flawlessly. And here's the seat. It is the Cell Italia Gel Flow Diva. And this is ripe. Uh, just ripe to make fun of because it is the Diva and that's, I am riding it. Interestingly enough, I had the men's version of this seat that was white and it looked almost identical, but for some reason I didn't like it. I don't know, I can't really put my finger on it. I had it a few years ago, uh, it just wasn't as comfortable. I ended up getting used to this seat on the Peloton. Uh, my wife liked it, so we, we kept it on there and I was getting ready to go to Ragbri this year and I said, you know, that seat's comfortable enough and I've got enough miles on it. I think I'm just gonna take it off and put it on the road bike. I haven't switched it back over yet. So anyway, uh, this is it. I'm gonna put a link to this in the description uh, and it's a fabulous seat. All right, actually I did have that men's model. I thought I'd gotten rid of it, but there it is. You, and you can see side by side, they look almost identical. Uh, but for some reason, that seat is not nearly as comfortable for me. It probably has to do with the density of the foam or gel. I don't think that this other one was the gel. That, that might be the difference. So I don't know which model. It's a Cell Italia as well. Uh, you can see I've tried a few other seats here. This is a physic, a physique rather, model. Uh, that was pretty good for me. I'll try to put the uh, model that is, but it wasn't as good for me either. Uh, and then here's a Cannondale seat that came on a bike that we had. And here's a specialized power uh, saddle. Uh, and it's pretty good, but none of them are as good as this uh, Diva for me. I even tried the more expensive $450 version of this model, which I'll uh, put a picture of. Uh, it was the power with mirror technology, 3D printed version of this saddle. Uh, it was worth so much, I actually sold it for $400. I think I paid $450 for it and sold it for $400, so that's why it's not still hanging around. 
Uh, this white seat you're looking at is probably, you know, a $200 seat. I want to say that we got these seats. Uh, I think the Diva is anywhere between one and $200. I'm sure it's going to fluctuate depending on availability, but uh, that does get my highest recommendation. So try that. If you're having a hard time and want a seat upgrade, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. All right, I've already hung my bike back up uh, where it goes. But incidentally, I just wanted to show you. So I've got the Diva on my bike, but we liked it so well that we actually put it on my wife's bike as well. So we actually run that seat on two different bikes and we may buy a third to put on the Peloton because uh, it's that good. So I thought you might find that interesting. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please do me a huge favor. If you found this at all helpful, please like and subscribe. That really is going to help me grow this channel, and I appreciate it. Also, leave some comments with your favorite seats in it. That would be very helpful for the other uh, viewers of the video. Uh, just leave the model, maybe how much you paid for it, where you got it. Uh, I'd love to see the list because while I've got a really good seat recommendation, you know, always looking for a better one. Thanks so much. Catch you on the next video.